I'm going to teach you my tricks to remembering the nerve roots of all of these nerves on the brachial plexus. Okay, because during a test, you might have time to map this out really quick, but you're not going to have time to go through and figure out, okay, this is C5 and 6 or 7. This is, you know, you're not going to have time to do that. So, I'm going to teach you my tricks on how to do that. First of all, you need to know how to draw the brachial plexus. I'm going to show you an easy way. Okay. The best way I know of how to draw the brachial plexus is you do it in threes. This is what my TA taught me. First of all, you have your five things. One, two, three, four, five. That's five, six, seven, eight, one. Of course, in the test, you're not going to write that. And then you just connect these. Don't get that. Extend, 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 match there. And you got X and your thing right there. Okay? So then you're going to go in threes. One, two, three. Well, one. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three, one, two, three. Okay? So you know this is your musculocutaneous you just have to memorize that that is 57 and this is your median nerve and you just have to memorize that that's 61 and this is your ulnar nerve and you just need to memorize that this is 81 okay so then fill in the rest you know this is your lateral pectoral lateral pack which makes this your medial pack and your medium and medial cutaneous to forearm and arm. And so then you come up here, dorsal scapular nerve, and then right here you've got your nerve nerve to subclavius. And then right here you have your supra scapular. I like to spell them out when they're too close to other ones. And so upper and lower sub scapular, I put subs, reminds me of food, and then middle one is always thoracodorsal, and then this is obvious radial and axillary nerves. Okay, so now you have all these, but you don't want to trace back to see where the nerve roots are. So the easiest, oh, well we also need our long thoracic, long thoracic. The easiest way that I know is obviously everyone down here gets 81. So these all get 81, except for long thoracic, who shares right diagonal musculocutaneous is 57. Then I go back up to musculocutaneous and say his neighbor has 57. Take away one, got 56 over here. Take away the six, you've got five on dorsal scapular nerve. These guys like 56 too, so you get 56 right here. These guys have 56, and axillary also has 56. So the only two you have less left is the thoracodorsal and the radial. And so for thoracodorsal, I just look over here, and I see 68. So I put 68. And then I just remember that a step down from 68 is 58. Because, as you know, we're not saying, like, the nerve root is 58. We're saying that the nerve root is 5 through 8. So the step up from 5 through 8 is 6 through 8. And that's how you can do all the nerve roots without memorizing them or tracing them.